What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video, I'm actually going to be going through all of the possible lash options, kind of evaluating the pros and cons and also which one would be suitable for you. So just a disclaimer, I think most of this video is actually going to be based on the false lashes rather than the other lash treatments, but I really do want to touch upon them first because I feel like a lot of people don't know a lot of some of the other lash options that there is and by a lot, I just really mean the lash lift and tint because there aren't actually like that many other ones. So I'm going to quickly go through them in case, you know, you also have monolids and I think this one is mostly for all of my monolitters out there. I can give you kind of like a better analysis of everything. Just to kind of start us off, I'm going to go through lash extensions, lash lifts and tints, and then falsies that are magnetic. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so starting with lash extensions, if you guys have been following me for a while, you might have noticed that I actually rarely, if ever, get lash extensions, and that's actually because I've gotten them once or twice before, and I realized that it really, really isn't suitable for me personally, and I don't love them, but I know a lot of people that love them, and I'll kind of tell you guys the reason why. So the first thing is that when you get lash extensions, the appointment itself is for a really long time. It's about four hours, and every appointment is quite expensive, especially if you're getting a brand new set like you have nothing right now it's probably going to be close to a hundred dollars after that every single month you obviously need to get it touched up so that's another i would say like 50 to 80 dollars a minimum so that's a monthly expense that is quite high obviously it is really worth it if you can maintain it really well and if you also really like the look of them i feel like for monolids i personally don't like them that much i rely heavily on eyeshadow and one of the aftercare situations with getting lash extensions is that you can't remove your makeup using oil-based makeup remover you have to use water-based and it's actually just much better for you if you just don't wear eyeshadow in general or if you you just rely on your eyelash extension. So the pro of this is that a lot of girls say that, you know, they barely wear makeup because when they have their lash extensions, it already just looks like they have makeup. So if you are the type of person to kind of, I guess, just have your lashes, I think that's fine. The other reason why I don't typically like lash extensions is because when it starts falling off, your lashes are no longer full. It looks kind of messy where there's just a few strands here and there standing out. So that's another reason why I personally don't like it. And obviously it is a little bit more costly but I do know that it does work so well with some girls because they're super great at maintaining them. For me, I had to refrain from rubbing my eyes, which I'm a huge eye rubber. Is that a thing? And I'm also a huge eyeshadow wearer as well as eyeliner. So that's something that I can't personally give up myself. And for that reason, eyelash extensions have never really quite been for me. An alternative that I feel like a lot of people don't actually know, the same lash technicians that do lash extensions, most of them also do another procedure called lash lift and tint. This one is actually the procedure that I absolutely love. I don't get it pretty regularly just because I just never really have the time to Go, but the appointment itself is for way less time. It's like, I would say 30 to 45 minutes. It's nowhere near the amount of time that you do for lash extensions. And also the price is so much cheaper as well. It's also a lot more natural looking because it's using all of your real lashes and not extending and adding on anything else. And also I just feel like if you are someone who already likes their current lashes or if you already have long lashes to begin with, this is actually a really, really great option because it just really curls your lashes for you and it keeps them up. The difference between this procedure and just like not getting it is that number one, when you curl your lashes, let's just say this is kind of like the base of your eye and these are your lashes. When you curl your lashes, because of the way eyelash curlers function, your lashes will curl kind of like this. This is where the clamp kind of goes and then it will fold up like this. But when you actually get a lash lift, the entire eyelash is actually extended like that. So the entire lash will be completely lifted. You're actually adding a few more 
more millimeters to your lash length because it's actually going from the root instead of from, I guess, like this awkward little angle. Another thing is that if you have lighter colored hair, like if you have blonde hair or really light brown hair or something like that, these procedures usually also come with a tint. So it also already makes your lashes look a lot darker and it already keeps that perm in your lashes on for the rest of the month. So you don't really have to curl your lashes and you just need to put on mascara. Another thing is that this procedure actually lasts a little bit longer than your traditional lash extensions because I feel like with lash extensions, you have to get a fill maybe about every three to four weeks, depending on how much you care for them. But with lash tints, it can last up to six to eight weeks, depending on also how you care for them as well. I personally like that option a lot better, especially if you're someone who prefers wearing falsies rather than extensions. And if you are also wanting to not give up on your eyeliner and on your eyeshadow. Okay, so that was pretty much enough of the, I guess, like lash procedures. Like I said, I pretty much liked the lash lifts and tints way more than lash extensions. But once again, this is really personal preference. So I've kind of given you the list of pros and cons for both and you can see which one is more suitable for you. But moving on to false lashes. So I know that on Instagram, I would always wear these false lashes and so many people would ask me to kind of give like a review on magnetic lashes, falsies in general. So I'm just gonna give kind of my overview of both these lashes. So when it comes to function, this is the main difference between magnetic lashes and lashes with glue. So number one, if you are looking for durability or just basically if you have a very intense day and you're doing a lot, I would 100% still stick with your traditional false lashes with glue. This is what is honestly still the most durable. If you guys haven't seen my video yet, I actually made a video a while back showing you guys exactly how I put on my false lashes with glue and everyone needs to go and freaking watch this video because the way that I put on my false lashes now is very different than I did before. Basically before I used to put my false lashes over top of my regular lashes but now I actually glue them from the bottom. Now the benefit of this method is number one it looks so much more natural. Number two it actually makes it a lot more durable. If you are doing anything super intense when you glue it from the bottom it actually stays on so much better and also the ink transfer from your mascara and your eyeliner barely transfers. So I'm talking about if you are doing something that makes you sweat or if you are, I don't know, if you're like kind of tearing up or something like that, the color from your eyeliner or your mascara transfers over less. And okay, this is a little TMI, but you know what? I'm no longer scared to do TMI things on this channel anymore. Ever since my podcast launched, I feel like a lot of people are like, okay, this is what we're talking about. If you are doing the unspeakable with your partner, if you guys know what I'm saying, if you glue your lashes from underneath, your makeup will literally, after everything, still look like it is on point. And that is just something that I have to share and a little PSA for all of you because if you are one of those girls that after you kind of look like a mess, which is traditionally what I think everybody looks like, if you glue your lashes from underneath, you will not look like a mess. Let me tell you, this is a little secret tip that I have and people are gonna be like, damn, how do you look so good afterwards? I've literally gotten my friend who saw me afterwards and was like, damn, you still look good. This is what I'm talking about in terms of durability. With magnetic lashes, although they are great in concept, they just really still do not have the same amount of holes as traditional glue lashes will. I remember, I think I was like on a date or something and okay, anyway, we were kissing, okay, whatever. So we were kissing, kissing, kissing. My magnetic lashes had already lifted and I was like, oh my dear Lord, what is happening? Basically, if you want to wear magnetic lashes, which is what I'm wearing right now, I can just say that they are honestly great in concept and it's very, very easy if it's something that you are just kind of like going out, you want something really, really quick and you are some doing something that is not really heavy duty or whatever it is, magnetic lashes are absolutely fine. To kind of go into detail of which one for magnetic lashes and which one for real lashes, starting with the real lashes, this is something I've already shared in that video of mine so you guys can take a look but this is the glue that I always use this is the duo glue and I always use the pink one because the pink one actually comes out black when I use the blue one it comes out white so sometimes it'll dry white and you'll kind of see it so I've switched to the pink one ever since false lashes that I always 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 wear are the Ardell Demi Wispies and this is what it looks like I just buy it off Amazon and I buy the multi-pack I can re-wear each lash about three times ish and I cut them in half before I glue it on once again 
it, please refer to the tutorial, but this is kind of my personal go-to. In terms of magnetic lashes, now so many people have asked me to review, and this is basically the kind of end-all be-all of the review. I have tried the $20 Amazon brand ones, which I've actually shared on my previous favorites videos, so I will leave another link down below. But basically, this is what it looks like. This is what the cover looks like, and this is what the inside looks like. It comes with the glue, and it also comes with that clippy thing, and these are the lashes. And this is only about $20, so it's honestly such a steal. On the other hand, I've also bought and tried the Glamnetic Magnetic Lashes because they're so viral on all the social media platforms. This is their eyeliner. This is just an example of one of the lashes that I have from them. I would say that in terms of price point, Glamnetic Lashes are extremely expensive. Each lash is about 40 something dollars Canadian, and I had to pay duties when it arrived. Really keep that in mind when you buy the Glamnetic Lashes. However, the one thing that I will say, and this is kind of like the ultimate review, is that with the Glamnetic Lashes, yes, the lashes are beautiful and they are genuinely super fluffy. The one lash that I always get compliments on is the one that I have on right now, and these are the Lux Lashes by Glamnetic, and these ones are honestly truly beautiful. If money is not a concern, yes, just get all the fluffy, beautiful lashes from Glamnetic, but you know, if you are a little bit more price conscious, then I would highly actually recommend just buying the eyeliner from Glamnetic because Glamnetic sticks on so, so, so much better. And then use the lashes from a cheaper brand, like one of these no-name brands off of Amazon. This lash here, the second one on the list, actually is another lash that I always, always, always get compliments on. And I will insert a picture here to show you one of the Amazon lashes. I have to be honest, the Amazon eyeliner isn't as great as like a magnetic eyeliner. The Glamnetic ones are honestly amazing. So what I would do is I would use the Glamnetic eyeliner and then use, I guess, any other false lash from any place of your choosing. That's kind of, I would say, the conclusion. And once again, I use Magnetic Lashes example today because I know, you know, I'm just filming a couple of YouTube videos and I'm just sitting here and I'm not doing anything like I'm not gonna, you know, do any sport or I'm not going out and running a bunch of errands and I'm not going to a club or dancing. Not like anyone is clubbing right now. For example, if I was to go clubbing, I probably, probably would still maybe not wear magnetic lashes just because I don't know how crazy I could get potentially. So that's kind of the conclusion of all of the uses. In terms of the actual treatments, if you have the time and the funds, my most ideal method with everything is to kind of get the treatment from the lash lift and tint. From an everyday perspective, I'll still use mascara and stuff like that. And then on special occasions, just put on either my magnetic lash or my false lashes with glue. But that's kind of how I like to use all of these lashes. So I hope you guys found this review helpful. And if you guys have any more questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!